symptoms. He did the right thing. He went to the hospital to get tested, and he was landed with a bill for $3,270. Now, the insurer said, we'll pay some of it, but he was still left right. with a $1,400 out-of-pocket fee. Even Republicans right now, to their credit, are going on TV saying, let's make this test freely available. It is a barrier. It isn't the only barrier. I would say that, you know, the response is going to require universal health coverage, insurance for all. It's going to require very strong public health measures. It's going to require social distancing, uh, aggressive contact tracing. And then there's an element of this response that doesn't get very much attention. I lead a center at Duke University called the Center for Policy Impact in Global Health. And for many years, we've been talking about how actually there's a whole set of global activities that need to happen. Right. We, need, we need things like surge capacity. We need to be able to manufacture quickly medicines. We need to manufacture personal protective equipment uh, for, for doctors and nurses. We need to be able to surge health workers. Uh, Italy, as you know, is facing yes. this enormous shortage of health workers. We need, if you like, a kind of a global task force that could be, yes. you know, uh, uh, um, mobilized when Robert, necessary. Laura, let me just end with you on this sort of economic... Obviously, what you're, you're identifying huge holes in the social safety net that are the status quo. Right now, though, we need policy focus on things that can be done for people now, right? <laughs> so yeah. what, what, what do you see as the sort of priorities there? Well, I, 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 mean, I think, uh, Robert, sick, please. Take paid sick leave, for example, Chris. I mean, this